it's not the way. So I want to get my opinion on some aspect, a bit of a controversy with Super Mario Maker 2. So of course I did also watch the Nintendo Direct for Super Mario Maker 2, 50 minutes, freaking awesome. A lot of people for what it is, online multiplayer, a lot of new features, story mode, and like it's more stuff than the first game. However, after a while there were some on hands presentation for some people that got invited such as, uh, well, Game Explained, because they did a lot of video about it and revealed some sort of a shocking for, uh, for some points of Super Mario Maker 2. First of all, you know I like Amiibos, just like Jason Amiibo. I know I'm sticking ahead, collecting Amiibos. And in the first Super Mario Maker, it actually had an Amiibo feature on the Super Mario Brothers theme that you can put on the Mystery Mushroom and the particular character will turn into Peter Link, with a Trainer, Mega Man, Kirby, etc, etc. Based on what the Amiibo you put in, even I think Ben... I can't remember other ones, I think there's a lot. Oh, Mega Yarn Yoshi played like the giant Yoshi. So that's one of the cool features there. Another cool feature was... Basically... Yeah, basically, well, in my opinion is... Unlocking the stuff, but not anymore. Apparently, according to a Nintendo rep, that when you start the game, you can actually unlock the stuff already. So that's cool. But there's still some point that you unlock, but not so much. I guess not a lot of people like unlocking in 2019. So with that, what are some of the controversies for Super Mario Maker 2? Well, one of them is well, like I said about the Amiibo feature, they got rid of it apparently. So no more Amiibo feature because. They said the reason is that because, remember this game also for the first time is multiplayer. You get to play as not only Mario, but Luigi, Toad, and Toadette. So, and then you get different versions from Super Mario, New Super Mario Brothers, U, Super Mario Brothers 3, Super Mario Brothers the Original, and Super Mario Brothers World. I mean, where's Doki Doki Panic version, but maybe there's a different story there. So that's, they said some of the reason why the Amiibo is not out. My thoughts about that one is, yeah, that's kind of sucky that they got rid of it, but I don't know, they're putting new features in, they're putting something better, but I also got to remove something, I guess, like the Amiibo feature, so gonna bump me out a bit, just like Jason Amiibo, but I mean, it's not a deal breaker, but just because there's no Amiibo feature, they probably could just do it via, unlock my via update, I mean, Kinda makes sense also because to some extent Amiibo, good to maybe for collectors, not everyone likes Amiibo. But another big shocker here is the online multiplayer. So, I mean the Nintendo Direct you basically say you can play with random people, up to four players, there's a ranking board, so which is interesting, ranking. But then it was revealed that that's it, you can't play with friends. So, me personally, doesn't really matter. Playing with friends, random Yahoo, but I know some people make a big deal, for me it's not, so I can understand where they're coming from when people, what, I can't play with my friends online, that sucks. Uh, for me, you know, hey, you know, if you want to play ranking mode, there you go, random Yahoo, and that's the reason why they said, because it could basically interfere with the ranking. In that aspect, I think it was dumb, because why not just have a casual mode, a family mode, a group mode, but again, Nintendo, sometimes they trying to do good online but there's always some point that oops we done goof but then of course another one last before I close this is the pre-order so far right now there is no pre-order info for the newest version the west however in UK when you pre-order the game you get a Super Mario Maker brand stylus for your switch because especially when you're doing it on dock mode you don't have to use your finger you use a stylus unfortunately that's not gonna come in America in the west in the US I can understand in some aspect why, because you know, U.S. is just really, really, really big. That's the problem. They're very, very large. It's probably going to cost them a lot of money. That's why they're not doing it. And Europe's not that much. And I know at some point, like, you know, I remember in the Pokemon game, there was a steel case. Again, not in America. Oh, yeah, by the way, even so, Super Mario Maker 2 has a steel case. Not in America again. So what's going on there? I don't know. It's like one step forward, then two steps back. Yeah, that's my basically thoughts about Super Mario Maker, the good and the bad. Not a deal breaker, but it probably needs some work. Maybe via update they can do something about it, but you know, 
gotta wait and see until the game gets ready. So with that, I'll see you guys later.